Normally, a mother watches over her child, but in Sarah Vachero's case, her son Carter watches over her. There he is, he's blowing a kiss. Carter was known for blowing kisses. He blew them everywhere, even from his hospital bed. At two years old, Carter Vachero was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I remember just wailing. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking, no, not my baby. On August 13th, 2012, Carter lost his battle when he was just three years old. Sarah says until her son's diagnosis, she didn't realize how little was spent on children's cancer research. There hasn't been a new chemo drug in 20 years uh, for children. For children under the age of three, like Carter, there hasn't been a radiation treatment yet developed. An oncologist here at Palmetto Health Children's Hospital says politicians and pharmaceutical companies go where the money is. And unfortunately for pediatric cancer, adult drugs make the most. We get cut and, you know, we get 4% of the, of the National Cancer Institute funding for childhood cancer research. You can wring your hands over it or you can just deal with it and, and do the best you can with what you've got. This is why other people have to step in. Bridget Hughes is a survivor of childhood cancer. She works with St. Jude's fundraising to make up for what the government is lacking. I think it's sad. You know, I think the government has pushed childhood cancer research aside. I don't think they realize how many children a year are diagnosed with childhood cancer. It's been three years since Carter died, but Sarah Becero's fight is just getting started. Last year, by shaving her head, she raised $6,000. But she has another favorite way of honoring Carter. Um, he just was, there was something magical about him. There was something just, um, just really special. They call this something special pixie dust, which she spreads through gift cards, put on random cars, paired with notes about Carter and awareness. Sarah won't stop until kids like Carter have the medicine they need <laughs> as allies in the battle for their lives. See you later, alligator. Madison Kello, Carolina News. Thank you.